In this video, we'll talk about what a SIN classification is and how to create a SIN classification in Marketing Cloud. So what's a SIN classification anyway? A SIN classification is basically a sender profile and a delivery profile brought into one centralized location and it's used for either commercial or transactional email messages to your customers. So let's talk about that here in a second while we're creating the SIN classification. So for a SIN classification, you'll choose the name, external key, which is optional, and description, which is optional. And we'll choose whether or not this is going to be a commercial SIN classification. So if you choose commercial here, you're going to use this SIN classification for emails that you're going to use for commercial messages to your customers, meaning newsletters, product updates, and other messages that are sent to your customers when they subscribe to your email list. Transactional, on the other hand, is going to be used for sends that are going to be sent to your customer whenever they say purchase a product or whenever they buy a ticket or whenever they need an immediate verification of something whenever they sign up for a program. A great example of this would be when you buy tickets from a company like Ticketmaster, you want to see an email of the tickets as soon as you buy those tickets. So that would be something like a transactional email message. You don't have to be subscribed in order to receive that email. All you need to do is give Ticketmaster your email address and as soon as you buy from them, they send you the tickets to your email. That's a transactional send. You bought something and that's a transaction. And you'll always want to honor source and publication list level opt-outs. And for sender information, you'll want to choose the sender profile that you created and the delivery profile that you created. And then you'll want to choose the send priority. You'll want to choose if this is a low send priority or a normal send priority. This is going to tell Marketing Cloud how important it is that this email gets to your customers. And that's how you create a send classification in Marketing Cloud. Not too bad, is it? Now that we've got that figured out, Let's look at test send thresholds in the next video.